so here one more uh, anand when you are giving this company's interview experience interview for the infosys so mm-hmm. were you on the notice mm-hmm. period or notice period was already done for the previous company no no i was not on notice period acha infosys is i would say like indian service based companies can give you 3 months of notice period they are okay with it yep. the problem lies with most of the product based companies mm. they they are looking for immediate immediate opportunities immediate but not more than 15 days yeah mm-hmm. uh, so initially when uh, when i was receiving call for interview the interview the hr was asking are you an immediate joiner so i mm-hmm. said no then they said no we are only looking for immediate joiner okay. then mm-hmm. after some time when i received another call that I, and they said uh, from another company the hr said are you an immediate joiner i said yes mm-hmm. then they said can you provide me an email for your resignation acceptance letter from your okay. manager mm-hmm. so if you think like if you can be an immediate joiner and if you try to lie to them they will ask the proof as well proof yes so what i would advise is mm. if you have accepted one offer mm. then resign if you want and then uh, put on the papers and then if uh, hr is asking if you are you an uh, immediate joiner you can tell them like this is the uh, resignation uh, resignation acceptance letter okay. and then it is also negotiable as well mm. like i told the hr like is it he asked me like is it negotiable i said yes because some of my colleague also switched in some past few months okay. and then they also negotiated it to a month rather than three months so okay. this is something which i should i think we should tell so it is just a common and also a mutual question you know before putting a resignation a mail or letter so what are the things we should mm-hmm. get from the company and before putting a resignation uh, anand any talk on that so in my company when you put on the paper you get a call from hr acha mm-hmm. and uh, they will ask you like do you want to reverse revert back to the position and don't want to uh, uh, leave the company and okay. they will try to make your offer or give you a preferred location and all okay later on if you say no i will stick to my career growth plan and i will switch then uh, what will happen they will after your last day you have to surrender your assets ah. first of all yep. then if you have you will be given your relieving letter mm-hmm. and there will be a full and final settlement which is called fnf okay so what will happen when the laptop and the, all your assets including charger laptop mm-hmm. or sometime bag as well okay so when all your assets given by your company including mm-hmm. id card are okay. surrendered to the company the company mm-hmm. will find will try to find is there any no dues is there any books that you took from the library or okay. is there anything broken in the in the assets that you surrendered okay and if everything is fine you mm-hmm. will get uh, your last month salary in 45 days okay mm-hmm. full and final mm-hmm. so this is what company will give all right along with in full and fi- along with full and final settlement you will also get a service letter or you can say the experience letter from mm-hmm. the company all right all right uh, so this was all about the behind the scene procedure we need to do you know before putting a resignation uh, letter so mm-hmm. anything any else anything else we can add uh, anand which can be beneficial for freshers or same people who are on the same boat shifting the job yep i just tell you one thing now before uh, completing this interview before finalizing this interview this is not the first interview i cracked uh-huh. before this i was able to i appeared in three different interviews first first two interviews i was not able to crack the first round and the third interview i gave i cleared the first round but i rejected in the second round mm-hmm. and this was the fourth interview which i gave and uh, somehow i got selected okay so this is a try and error process that you have to do and this is not the first time i applied in infosys i applied three times earlier in infosys okay. one for a java developer mm-hmm. which i was saying earlier like uh-huh. you if you want to switch you just apply randomly uh-huh. blindly to the job this is not correct okay. i applied in aws data engineer even uh-huh. though i had an experience in snowflake not particularly aws uh-huh. Uh-huh. So i was rejected there as well okay uh-huh. so just keep in mind this is a try and error process uh-huh. there is also one flaw i didn't notice but i took the feedback from my friend who also before me got selected in infosys the okay. thing with infosys is 
he applied in three jobs he got mm-hmm. shortlisted in all of all the three okay. one by one uh-huh. but what happened is uh, after the interview slot selection email uh-huh. the interview didn't join okay he joined there for half an hour but the interview didn't join and he got rejected okay same happened for the second job as well mm-hmm. but the third job fortunately the interviewer came and it happened okay so then he got selected so these are the some things which can happen in your process mm-hmm. as well so what i would suggest is talk to the hr write an email to them follow them through linkedin and message okay. them there as well like this is yep. what is happening to me please try to resolve this asap so this is what i would say so then so yeah guys as i mentioned i will be attaching all the supporting links in the description i mean uh, the sources which he used while his preparation period and uh, if anand don't mind we can also attach his cv a pattern cv so that people yes, can, we, we can get an idea what to put it and all so yeah he is okay guys mm-hmm. i will be sharing his uh, cv in the description go have and try to implement yeah. template yeah we go can, ahead yeah. yeah so i just wanted to add two more things one is there is a website called nodflare which i somehow came to know that which can show your resume score as well it is you just paste your uh, resume there and you paste the job description and it mm-hmm. will match the uh, keywords from the the job okay. description mm-hmm. into your uh, resume and okay. from that you can just you can also create an ats friendly resume as well Super. free of cost and from there itself you can apply to the job as well Mm. it's a very like very important uh, website i just came to know okay. another thing is infosys is a very is a huge it company it has lacks of employees yep. so the offer letter the process from interview like from applying till i get the offer letter took almost more than a month maybe one month and 15 okay. to 20 days mm. so it may take some time but if you cleared all the round mm. and you this till hr around and early discussion also happened very well okay. mm-hmm. i would suggest you to wait for 10 to 20 days and if nothing happens do the same thing reach out to them call them mail right. them reach out to them in linkedin so things will sort out so yeah guys everything i will be attaching in the description just go and have a look into that and anand i guess we covered everything so mm-hmm. we are not missing anything right sab cover ho gaya na हाँ आई बिलीव सब कवर हो गया है और तो कुछ बचा नहीं है नहीं एवरीथिंग एवरीथिंग इज़ फ़ाइन सो या गैस इफ़ एनी अपडेट वी विल yeah it's all the special connecting with you aksh and sharing all my insights so that we can help the community in a better way because uh, snowflake data engineer role is relatively newer and i didn't get much uh, insight yep. so i failed uh, relatively more because uh, it is different for every person my friend tried for a year and then he got shifted to another company i tried and it took me 6 months my friend did it in 2 months so i just want to tell everyone like it's a process and it's not a destination it's a journey you have to go with yeah nothing else right. and uh, personally and i like to thank uh, you anand for coming forward and you know mentioning about your shift to the new company and you know motivating me to do a series on this uh, profile so i guess we didn't do any snowflake uh, videos on our channel so this is the first mm-hmm. and i tried coming. finding but you didn't had any <laughs> i didn't also i didn't find any no any flicker. videos on youtube itself Achha. yeah yeah even though it's a very trending field and it's mm-hmm. in very much demand but uh, karna padega there are not much videos on snowflake chalo so yeah i can take your insight also for my like while i do a shift to other company i can take your insights and implement in my uh, company shift procedure and thanks a lot man yeah yeah uh, yeah guys i'll be also attaching his linkedin profile in the description and uh, insta if he is using i will attach all his social media de- links in the description mm-hmm. just go connect with him get inside get help definitely he going to support you and uh, yeah go ahead wait bro i have to tell one more thing yeah so uh, snowflake 
certification is snow pro core certification this is the first mm. certification which if someone is doing in snowflake he should do it okay. but the thing it is very tough ah. but if so if you are not able to do the certification just do five badges from it mm -hmm. so there are five badges in snowflake itself okay so badge 1 badge 2 badge 3 badge 4 badge 5 mm -hmm. so even if you are not able to do the certification just use these five badges use this link in your linkedin and also write them in your resume as well okay so you can just tell the interviewer like and the hr as well like i have not completed certification but these badges uh, do the have the same value mm. okay so this is also i just wanted to share so just ping me anand i'll just keep it in the description so that they can have it no worries at all yeah yeah okay bro so chalo thank you akshay thank you everything is done and uh, yeah guys this is all about the stocks in the next video take care bye